Okay, what's up? Back for some more. Part 12, Age of Empires Battle of Falkirk. Here we go. Uh, this is the William Wallace campaign. And we're nearing in on the end of it, finally. After I build up a couple castles here, got William Wallace's troops into my base. And I'm preparing for the assault on the English castle after I get to the Imperial Age and research tries and, tries and speasons. Tries and speasons. <laughs> it's just spies and treason, excuse me. Uh... That actually doesn't sound that bad, tries and speasons. Speasons is a... Speasons actually probably could be a word. I mean, just how it sounds, really is not that bad. I mean, it's basically spears, but the S is taken away and O and S is added. It's like conjugating verbs in, like, French and stuff, basically. If you look at it that way, I mean, that's pretty, uh, pretty broad stretch, but hey, what the heck. Oh, gotta love the animations, taking the longbowmen down. Got to love it. The grunts are just priceless. Imagine them standing in booths, uh, doing the, re the recording studios of the guy, of the the voice actors, like grunting and blah, just like screaming out and stuff. That that be got that's got to be great. Someone's walking down the hall, doesn't know what's going on. It's like, okay, what are those guys up to? Weirdos. Must be making Age of Empires two or something. Obviously, obviously they thought that. And uh, as you saw right there, I just uh, set my villagers outside of my base. We're gonna build a mining camp around that area where the gold mine is. You want to protect yourself with a couple knights and crossbowmen at the beginning because you're gonna get some longbowmen inter uh, intervening uh, along with some spearmen. Although they're not too much of a threat, they can take down your villagers because they are unprotected, uh, virtually unprotected. So, as we advance to... Did I advance? Yes, I did advance to the Imperial Age. Brock has advanced to the Imperial Age. I, I really love in Conquerors how they add that little bar in the top uh, the top part of the screen that goes across the where the Imperial Age is right now, showing you how far along you are. That, that's just pretty nifty. You don't have to worry about checking out your town center every once in a while. Um, not too big of a deal, but something that I do enjoy about Conquerors. You really tried to work at improving it. It could really be a standalone game. Ow, yeah. not even an expansion. Frick. Oh, got the most painful zit coming in right now. It's just like, I can feel the, this, the drain in my sinuses. The fluid going down there. It's disgusting, but it's quite painful. Surprisingly enough. That must be painful too. About a volley of arrows going flying at your head at once. You know, cutting through you. Like nothing. Cutting through you like butter. Oh, so painful. That's annoying. That is annoying. I'm trying to narrate th this game right now. I'm trying to provide the best narration I can, and you're giving me this garbage. And Tries and Speasons is not ready yet, I guess. We're not ready for it. We're going to have to kill some villagers. Go Every villager that they the enemy has adds to the number amount of gold that you have to pay for to get Spies and Treasons. Uh, tre spy and treason, spies and treason. Um, so I suggest if you're gonna research that, might as well go in, throw a few knights out into the plant, into the uh, farms or any land that they have outside of their homes, where uh, or their their city where they're they're farming or they're mining. Take about take about ten villagers. That should cut down on the costs and the expenses for uh, spies and treasons. Treasons. That's not plural. My bad. Not plural. What are you talking about? There we go. Uh, a little bit more stone wall we're going to have to put in here to complete this this little mini base here. Not bad. Could be a little bit more spacious for the the uh, the miners, but we'll take it. Might throw in a guard tower or a watchtower, whatever I have at this point. Right? Probably not going to research guard towers. Put one down there just in case. Never hurt. Throw a crossbowman in there too. And leaves my leave my knights outside of the base. Usually longbowmen take good care of the knights. As seen in the Battle of Agincourt, which will be taken on in the Conqueror's expansion. But um they do fare pretty they they still fare pretty well. Decent. Uh, not too bad. Lumberjack, builder. I have nothing to say at this point. 
Yeah, there we go. Watchtower's going up. Those actually take quite a, quite a long time to build, considering how not wide, not not that. I mean, they're they're pretty tall, I guess, considering the other buildings. Um, but they take a pretty long time to build, surprisingly, uh, which is a bugger. If uh, you gotta get it out quickly, like in a circumstance like this, you got some resources at stake and you don't have protection. You're done. You're done. You're just done. So. Oh, you're done. I'm using you're done a little bit too much right now. Once again, getting reverting to my overuse uh, rants. We're off with you. I always got those sayings stuck in my head. You know, you play one campaign for a while. You just repeat what the villagers say whenever you're like, your mom tells you to do something. You just like, we're off with you. Or like, or whatever they else. I forgot what what other, what other sayings they have like golden or whatever and then uh I don't know Doth Vidania that's totally not in Age of Empires 2 but it's like Red Alert 2 or something and as you can see right now I'm gonna bring my knights down and we're gonna take out some villagers get ourselves some uh cushion in purchasing spies and treason uh try not to alert too much of the Britons here but uh the British here but you shouldn't have a problem in uh, scooting back once the long you see a couple of long women coming or spearmen because spearmen could actually do damage to your knights. Uh, but just chill around there. You might get a few uh, few more villagers in the area. And here we go. We had the whole map revealed to ourselves except a, couple, uh, a little bit of land in the water, which is pretty much useless. So uh, destroying the English castle is our only objective left over, and that that is pretty much unprotected in the back of the English base you can just sneak on in with some transport ships that we got from the William Walls drop off in the east in the part 11 we'll use those guys bring our trebuchets a couple of Wade, Wo Wade rotors <laughs> Wade rotors will read I don't even it's not like I switched the R and the W that time I just like screwed up the first name I'm retarded half the time don't even know what I'm saying uh, but anyways, we'll bring those troops across the water, give our give ourselves a shot at taking on the English castle, uh, back behind the base. I mean, I, you want to have fun once again in the William Moss campaign, uh, feel free to organize your troops, build up a massive army, maybe even build a wonder for the heck of it, and, uh, take down the English bit by bit with some nice technologies. That's always fun, uh, the feeling of dominating the enemy. But I'm not really in the mood for that at this point. I've played the William Wallace campaign uh, to the point where I'm almost ashamed of how many times I've played it. So let's not do that. So uh, there we go. Get another trebuchet down. Gotta love the trebuchets. I used to call them tread buckets. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I was about nine when I started playing this game and referred to them tre tread buckets. I'm somewhat surprised I did that, considering I, I refer to myself as pretty good in pronunciation. Uh, or at least understanding of languages, but in that case, I was uh, I was quite off. But aren't we all most of the time? And that would suck if I lost a couple guys here, but just because of the freaking world, or longbow men. When you have these troops just given to you, you want to protect them with your lives. You just like don't want to lose one of them. Oh, it's just so great seeing them in the formation. Uh, it, it just gets me so excited. I, I like the point where I have to pee. You know what I mean? It, nah, sh that's pretty disgusting, but um, it's true. Why aren't my trebuchets over there? Oh yeah, I should probably just, yeah, I'll probably pick them up at a little rendezvous point later on. And that will most likely will be in part 13, which should be the last part of this William Walls campaign. And with that, this part, oh no, we got, about, we got a little bit left. Oh, don't know exactly how much time I have, but whatever. Taking out this battery ram, and we'll start up next video taking it out.